Today we're going to learn about mammals, sing an elephant song, and do an elephant craft. Hello everyone, my name is Anne Richmond. I'm the author of this book, Charisma and the Berry Boat. Today at Charisma Readers time, it's theme time. song first. divided into two major groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals that have a backbone inside their body, just like us. Backbones support vertebrates in their structure. Vertebrates have nervous system that controls everything, including walking, thinking, feeling, and breathing. Vertebrates have endoskeleton, that means a skeleton inside the body. Human is also a vertebrate. Vertebrates have muscles that are attached to the skeleton that enables the movements. All vertebrates reproduce by mating between males and females to bring babies, ducklings, chicks, and so on. Invertebrates don't have a backbone. Invertebrates have hydrostatic skeletons, which is made of fluid like the earthworm, starfish, and jellyfish. Or they have exoskeleton, that's hard shell or case covering their body like crabs and snails. Vertebrates are further classified into five classes. We already learned about birds. Today, we're going to learn about mammals. Mammals grow hair during some time in their lifetime. Hair helps to keep the body warm. Most mammals give birth to live babies. Female mammals have glands that can produce milk. All baby mammals need their parents to feed them, keep them safe, and to teach them how to live their lives. Duck-billed platypus is one of the few mammals that doesn't have live babies. Platypus lay soft eggs, but they do feed their babies. Mammals are warm-blooded, which means that they can make their own body heat when the temperature outside drops. The body temperature of warm-blooded animals usually stay the same, Cold-blooded animals' body temperature depends on the temperature outside. Some examples of cold-blooded animals are fish, lizards, and frogs. Most mammals live on land, mainly on ground, in trees, or even underground. Mammals have a larger and more developed brain than any other animals. Some mammals such as humans, chimpanzees and dolphins are highly intelligent. Mammals can be small as a bat or huge as a whale. The Arctic blue whale is not only the largest mammal but also the biggest animal on the planet. Bats are the only flying mammals. Cheetah is the fastest mammal. The sloth is the slowest mammal. Let's sing a song called Elephant, Elephant, Stomp Your Feet. Elephant, Elephant, Stomp Your Feet. Elephant, Elephant, Stomp Your Feet. Stomp, 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 stomp as loud as you
to show you how you can make an elephant craft. I have two sheets of black paper here. I'm going to take gray tissue and put glue on the black sheet and crumple the tissue and glue it just like that. I'm going to do the same for the second one. And I'm going to put the two tissue glued side together and trace this bowl on one side of the black sheet. The circle is going to be the body of the elephant and extend it for the legs of the elephant. And on the other side of the circle as well. Now I'm going to take a small bowl and trace it for the head and connect the body and the head like that. And draw a trunk. Now I'm going to put binder clip so the two sheets don't move as I cut. I'm going to cut it out. Now they're going to look like that. Now I'm going to put both black sides together Now I'm going to draw the ears So I'm going to trace a small container And extend it down like that erase the extra line and I'm going to cut the ears together like that that will give me two ears now I'm going to bend them together like that And put glue on the bent piece and glue it like that. I'm going to do the same for the other side. Now I'm going to draw the tusks on a white piece of paper and cut them out. And glue them under like that. And flip it and do the same for the other side. Now 
Now I'm going to draw the eyes, one on one side. And another on the other side. Now I'm going to draw the feet on a white piece of paper. I folded it into four so I get four of them and glue them like that. Do the same for the other side. I'm going to outline them with marker. I'm going to put glue from the trunk around the top like that. but not on the bottom. I'm gonna glue them like that. And I'm gonna stuff it with cotton balls from under. So it can stand like that. Now I'm going to take a red piece of cloth. You can choose any color. Put it on top like that where people can sit and take a ride and I made a small tail to go at the back there we have our elephant craft Next week is music time. We will be learning about line notes and space notes on the staff, play a song on the xylophone, and make a kite craft. Until then, goodbye everyone, I'm glad we had some fun. It's end of our circle time, see you next time. Bye everyone. New videos are posted every Monday on Charisma Reader Circle Time. First Monday of the month is Music Time, second Monday is Theme Time, third Monday is Music Time again, and fourth is Around the World Time. Please subscribe to follow all of them in the right sequence. Kindly like and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.